So today we'll be showing you a little video on how to cut your SIM card from a micro SIM into a nano SIM for the iPhone 5. And also um, we'll be showing step by step. My video is different from most videos out there because I will show you how to do this without any special <coughs> tools or anything else. You just need regular stuff that you can probably find at your house. Number one, when it's scissors, okay? Whatever scissors uh, they will do, they just have to be a little sharp because uh, this is a little thick. This material is a little plastic and you need to have a little thick, uh, so you have to have sharp scissors for this. Second, we need a nail file, okay? Um, usually women use this to file their nails pretty much and you can find them at any pharmacy um, most people have at least one in their households. Even nail clippers, they bring one of these things. I don't think it'll be as effective as this, but it'll work. It'll do the trick. And you need a ruler, which can be uh, another nano SIM. Usually, most iPhone fives or all iPhone fives, they bring one SIM card as a ruler from the carrier. If you bought this phone from someone else and they didn't include it, you can pretty much just cut it off and just keep going down and, and you have the, the SIM card tray that comes in the phone. What we're going to do in case you don't have a, a nano SIM that you can compare the one you're cutting off to, what we can do is you can just uh, cut down and just try try until you actually get it to fit into the nano SIM tray card, okay? So here it is. So first off, let's do a little comparison and things you need to know before you start this process. Okay. What you need to do is that you need to take the whole plastic part. Okay. All of this. Vertically, you just have to remove all of the plastic. You just stay with the chip on this part right here. Okay, so let me just point it a little better. So you're going to cut all of this and you're going to stay just with the chip part here okay so horizontally it's gonna be a little different though you're gonna need to actually uh, trim a little bit of the actual chip you see those little two lines on most sim cards right here you see this and this I think you can cut up until here before you actually get into the actual microchip so you're gonna take all of that part off and at the end of the day, you think you might damage your SIM card, and it will not get damaged. I mean, I've done about three or four, and so far, none of them has been damaged. So, we cut it off, we take off, horizontally, we take off this part here, and let's see what happens at the end. If, whenever you put the SIM card in your phone, it says no SIM, it means that the SIM card was damaged. If when you put the SIM card, the phone starts grabbing signal, looking for service, it means it's okay. So, uh, before I go ahead and start doing this procedure, you have to know that if you want to do this, you are to be held responsible if you damage your SIM card and all the inconveniences that come with it. Okay, so I'm going to give you this tutorial, but you're responsible for your stuff. If it gets broken and you have to wait a couple of days to get one and stay with no phone I help, I was trying to help but it's not 100% secure this is if you're kind of in a rush but as I told you I've done this many times and not a single time a sim card has been damaged so I'm gonna go start I'm gonna start by cutting all the plastic that's on the uh, when you have the sim card on the, on the on the edge of the micro sim Okay, so you have to make sure you don't get into the chip because that can damage it, especially when cutting with scissors. You don't want to touch the chip. That's what that's the, the biggest risk you run. So you have to be really careful not to cut the actual chip on this part. So once you do this, you have to make sure you know which one is the, the little rounded corner on all SIM cards. So what I do, I just do it. That's the first thing I do with the, with the nail trimmer. I just do this. So I know this is the, the, the square corner on any SIM card. You know, all of them have a little, little different shape on one of the corners. 
So then, after this, you need to start taking down plastic from the actual, uh, from the, um, let's just see, let's call it the horizontal lines. You see, you have to trim up over here. So we're going to do that. So we'll start off. It's going to smell a little nasty. So if your nose is really sensitive, you might as well get one of those little masks. So you're going to be trimming down all of the plastic and when you get to the actual chip you have to keep going down. Every time you do this, when you're a little further into the trimming process, you have to measure it with the pattern you have. You have to see how big it is. So as you can see here, there's still a long way to go before you actually make it that size if you compare them. So as I told you before, We'll keep going until we get to this part, and then we go and do the same on the other side. And see if it fits afterwards. It takes a little bit of work. And you're going to get scared that you're going to damage the SIM card. Trust me, most times it will not get damaged. So we keep going, keep going. You're going to get to the metallic part. Just keep going down on it. Remember always you have to mark down which corner the SIM card has the little difference. So we're almost getting there. So on the other side we do the same thing. Remember as we spoke before you have to get until up until these little lines. Some SIM cards they don't have these little lines. If they don't have it, you just try to to trim it down a little even on both sides. So let's go down on this. We're going down on the chip. It'll be fine. So, <sighs> almost there, so let's compare once again the sizes, still we have to go down a little more on this same card, so let's keep going. Remember, try to do it evenly on both sides. Okay. So, uh, we're getting there. I think we might, we can give it a try. See if it actually fits. So, this is the same card tray from an iPhone 5. We're going to use this to see if we're going okay if it is ready or if we need to trim a little more so make sure sometimes you trim down little edges because some plastic melts up in there and can make the fitting process a little difficult so we go in we put the thing in it and it's almost fitting a little bit a little bit more so you can see here still not there but we're about to so let's just trim it down a little more. Especially, let's do a little bit on the sides as well. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so I think we're getting there, let's see, right here, shape might not be exactly as the regular nanosem, but it'll work, you'll see. So more or less we're getting there, I think we need to trim it a little bit more. Uh, Mm. 
Oh shit. Okay. Okay. So I think we might have a fit. Okay, so remember something else that you should keep in mind. The SIM card from the iPhone 5 is a little thinner. Okay? So it actually fits. I think I went a little over on the trimming process. But uh, it'll, uh, pr it'll probably work. So after we've done this, we need to go and we need to take a little off the top of the SIM card. We're not going to do it here. So how you do that? What you do is you're going to grab the SIM card on one of the edges. And you're just going to do like this. You're going to go like this. Try to be even. And try not to go too deep into it because you might hit the metallic plate and then you can damage your SIM card. So you're just going to trim it down a little bit to make it a little thinner so that it fits the, the SIM card tray. <laughs> I mean, I do this. There are better ways to do this procedure, but you don't have to. If you're in a kind of a situation where you don't have... All the tools that most tutorials require you can always use mines and it should be fine okay so okay so I think it might fit let's try it see what happens when we put it on the actual phone it says no sim okay when I put it in it starts looking for signal it says no sim now it says no service if the SIM card uh, would have been damaged in the process, you would see no SIM as well. Okay? So I hope this helps you a little bit. Um, doing this process a little easier. If in the future, you actually need to have this phone trim now. Okay? So thank you for watching. Please do not, do not forget to subscribe if you like what you see. If you like and if this video was helpful for you, please don't forget to thumbs up this video. Alright? Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.